everybody, this is Shana Hiller from Build Your Personal Yoga Business, and today I'd like to share with you the five must-knows for teaching private yoga. Private yoga is a wonderful way to make more money as a yoga teacher, to really help people on a one-on-one -on -one basis, which is so powerful. In fact, it's actually how the yoga practice started. You'd have a teacher or a guru and you'd learn yoga specifically for you, whether it's postures, meditation, breathing, diet. It's like a very customized program, which ultimately yoga is unique for everybody. So these are the five must knows when you're teaching private yoga, which not only are going to give you more private clients, are, but are going to give you private clients that want to come back to you week and week and week over and over and over again, months and years. So the first and foremost must know for teaching private yoga is pretty obvious, but can oftentimes go overlooked is make it known. Make it known that you teach private yoga, whether you use social media or word of mouth during your public yoga classes. Make sure people know, put it on your website, write about it in a blog, share it with your friends and family, write an email, make it known. We can't expect people to know that we are private yoga teachers, right? We can't expect people to know that we have you know, this open for business if we don't go out there and promote ourselves. And I'm not saying you have to go out there and advertise like to the hilt, but really just a little bit can go a long way. So make sure that that's first and foremost out there and that's the first step. So it's obvious, but again, check in with yourself. Do people actually know that I do this or am I just assuming that because people know that I'm a yoga teacher that I teach private yoga? So again, put yourself out there. Gaining that courage and that confidence, you can check into last video here on YouTube of uh, if you're lacking confidence, watch that video. And once you've got that courage and that confidence, go out there and start telling people what you do with joy because you've got a lot of magic to give. The second thing, I have it written down here, the second must know for teaching private yoga is to ask your client what they want to work on. Ask your client, don't expect that if you just go to somebody's house that they want a vinyasa class or that they want restorative yoga. Ask the question. This is really important. Ask the question and when that person answers, listen. And listen not only with your ears, but listen. Watch their body language. Like try to tune in. This is actually going to lead me to step three, but try to really be present when you are listening to your client and what they actually want during a private yoga class. This is super important because it's very easy for yoga teachers to kind of just like walk right in there and be like, I have a plan today. And the client's like, well, hold on a second. I have an injury or I just did a big workout and I just want to stretch or actually I want a really, really challenging class. And you know, maybe the teacher comes in with a plan of just resting the entire time, right? So ask every time, even if you, asked or had a conversation the day before or when you booked the session, ask in the moment, right? Even if you sent them an intake form, ask in the moment because the truth is always present in the moment. And when you sit down at the person's house or they come to you or wherever you are at a studio, in that moment, that person knows, right? Has an idea. Now, the third step, the first, the third must know for teaching private yoga is that regardless of what someone says to you, your client says to you, also, pay attention to your own intuition when it comes to running the session. There is no guidebook or rule book when it comes to teaching private yoga. And think of it as a blend between listening and following that structure of what the person says, as well as following your own intuition. Be intuitive, right? You, we learn, you learn how to teach private yoga through teaching private yoga. So if somebody says, oh, I really want my ass kicked, right? I really want you to like do it really hard, but you can tell that that person was working all day, is burnt out, right? Like there is an opportunity for you as a healer, as a leader, as a teacher to actually, okay, maybe I'll throw in some chaturangas, but we're going to have a really nice cool down session and I'm going to bring my lavender essential oils and play some amazing music and bring a Tibetan singing bowl. Because sometimes people think they know what they want, especially clients. They're hiring you for a reason, right? They may think they know. They may say they know what they want. So listen, because when someone feels like they're being heard, that in and of itself is healing, is powerful. Sometimes people just want to speak. And part of your job as a yoga teacher is to really be that vessel of presence, of listening, of deep listening, and 
to use your intuition, to use your wisdom to go in there and create that balance that that person may not even know that they need. I have many people who work like really high stress jobs. They come to me for yoga. I teach them private. They say, I really want to work out. I want to sweat. I want to flow. Of course, I'm going to give them that. And I can also tell that if I do too much of that, it's like their adrenals are going to burn out and they're going to totally like zonk. So at the end, we always have nice deep hip stretches, slow breathing. And those are my clients who come back week after week. So use your intuition, be courageous, but make sure that intuition is not just coming from your own desire of what you want to teach, but from deep listening. So that intuition follows that deep listening. That was number two. The fourth step is uh, in, in maintaining and, and growing your private yoga practice and the must know, number four is being mindful of time. Uh, these days, sometimes I set an alarm. I literally will set an alarm one hour. It's not just to be respectful of your own time because you're getting paid whether it's an hour or an hour and 15 minutes or 45 minutes, whatever it is, but it's to be respectful of your client's time as well. I used to think when I started teaching yoga that if I went over, it's like, oh, I'm doing them a favor. Like, I don't need to get paid more. It's my fault. We went over by a few minutes, sometimes much more than a few minutes because it's easy to get caught up in teaching, as you may know. Uh, but it's really about being professional and sticking to the time. If you go to a therapist for a one-hour session, you know that hour is over at 60 minutes, right? So applying some of that, whether it's through, you know, staying mindful, having a clock nearby or setting a timer, let them know, hey, I'm going to set a timer so that our time is complete. Because then your client and you can both relax into that structure, into that knowing that, oh, there's a bell that's going to ring or I'm going to know. And especially with many clients, they live busy lives. I know people, they literally schedule their yoga in. You may not know it, but they have a call at 12.01 and the yoga has to be done at 12. So that is going to build your uh, credibility and build your professionalism and build the loyalty and trust that you need in order to get uh, more consistent clients. And the fifth and final must know and must have for teaching private yoga is to follow up with your clients. This is a secret. Follow up. The next day, send them an email. Hey, how are you feeling? I just wanted to check in. This is magical. This like really shows that you care. So it doesn't just end with that one session. It ends with the following day, 24 hours, check in. If someone, you know, did have an ache or a pain or an injury, hey, how's your knee feeling? You know, here's uh, some postures that can help you. I follow up with every single one of my clients within 24 to 48 hours. So those are my tips for you. The five must knows, the five secrets, if you will, because not a lot of people are talking about this. So um, take it as a, as a gift and utilize it and let me know how it is. Leave a comment below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't watched some previous videos that'll give you the confidence, the skills to grow your business to grow your yoga business. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in another video. I have some really amazing offers below, a brand new ebook. So if you've gotten the old ebook, check out the new one because it's magical. It's all I have to say and some other amazing offers for how to shift your money mindset and more coming your way. So I look forward to seeing you in another video. Have a great day. Enjoy teaching. Keep stepping out there and making it known that you do the magic that you do and that you are. Mwah. Namaste. Thank you.